securitycameraking.com in this video I will show you some of the features and menus that you will find when you configure your DVR in this example I will be working at the DVR directly I recommend you to use the mouse included on the accessory box to navigate throughout the menus quick and easy okay we can go ahead and right click and there are some of the menus that it will show when you right click to it you can view one camera at a time you can view the all cameras at the time in this case this is a four channel DVR you can bring the pan till zoom options you can do your color settings but in this case every time that I try to do that you must be logged in into the unit so that's why it shows that there you can let's go ahead and log in you have different usernames these two usernames are they have administrative rights and you can change modify delete footage whatever you want to do at the DVR itself with this username you can only you have certain restrictions so in order for you to change something you must log in with this username or the admin username the password for this users is the same as the username so in this case we're gonna log in with the 68 and the password is 68 now here when you click on it this little pad in here will open and if you click this option it will be changing to capital letters lowercase numbers and numbers again so in this case we're gonna one two three four five six log into it and here is the main menu of the DVR here you can search throughout the menus let's say if you wanted to search for footage you click on it and it will bring up this interface you can look your footage based on you know the month the year the date that you wanted to look for the time if you want to get off of this menu you simply right click on it and you go back to the main menu is the info you can find you know if you have any hard drive available the version of the DVR the online users they are currently logged in into the DVR so on and so forth under settings you can configure the date time date format if you want the hard drive to be override or stop recording when it gets full here you can change the resolution of your cameras and you can change the resolution of how you will see the cameras when you log in from externally from a phone or a computer here you can set how do you want to be recording if you want to record based on 24 7 motion detection or alarm and some other features that you can navigate through it here is where you configure the network portion and you configure your motion detection your pan till zoom when you install a PTZ camera this is basically where you have to assign where that PTZ camera will be plugged in on which channel what protocol that pan till zoom camera is um, it's going to use the bat rate and normally these three options it will stay the same so you can go back the display here is where you change the resolution of your monitor that you have attached to your DVR and if you want to default everything just basically click in here and hit OK and everything will be defaulted another options that we can find here will be under advanced which you can basically manage your hard drives if you wanted to format in this case this hard drive doesn't have this DVR doesn't have any hard drive so I can't do anything but basically here we show you the hard drive that is plugged in the number of the hard drive and the options that you can set on that particular storage you 
can manage your accounts here. You can add users. You can modify users by clicking on it and hit modify users. You can change the authority on that particular user. We don't recommend to modify the the six eight in the admin account because that's basically. I mean, we you can basically change just the password, but do not modify the authority. Otherwise, you're not you're gonna have issues trying to log in into your DVR or do some modifications on your DVR. Here's the auto maintenance. It's basically where the DVR you will schedule the DVR to reboot to add a reboot, or if you don't want it to, just set this to never and hit OK. And some other features that you can go ahead and play with them and make it suitable for your settings. Here you can make a backup of your footage. In this case, I do not have any flash drive, but basically you can, if your DVR has a CD-ROM, it will show it up. It will show up here. You can hit backup. In this case, I don't have any devices, so that's why it doesn't show up. But basically, or you can have a flash drive and have it in there and hit detect, and it will show up there. You select that device, and then you hit backup, and it's going to ask you, okay, what do you want to back up? And basically, you look for the footage, and that's it. And once you're done, you can go ahead and start it. And it, all of the files will be in that particular storage that you put in there. And here is where you can log off the menu user. You can shut down the unit or restart the system. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.